Hello there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the sound wave generator on my website so you can add a personalized touch to any project using almost any maker machine. Last month, I made a worksheet generator for making um, letter tracing boards for my nieces and nephews, and it was a lot of fun to interact with everyone in the community who used it and was making letter tracing boards for friends and family and everything. So um, I wanted to try and uh, do that again. And so I made a waveform generator so that you can record a little audio clip and then get an image from it. And it makes it really easy to add a personal touch to any projects that you make. And with the file that you get from it, you can use um, you know, vinyl cutters or laser cutters or laser engravers or CNC routers. Most maker tools support SVGs, so it's pretty versatile and um, I'm pretty happy with the little website that I made for it. So let's check it out. The first thing we need to do is go to the Soundwave image generator on my website. So head over to the URL in the description below. You'll have to allow access to your microphone, but don't worry, all the processing is done in the browser. To record your audio clip, just click the mic button and you'll have three seconds to record your audio snippet. Once you have a clip you're happy with, you can download the image by clicking the download button. The next step is to open the image in Inkscape and trace the bitmap into an SVG so it can be scaled to fit any project. Make sure your image is selected and then go up to the nav bar and select path, trace bitmap. Since this graphic is just black and white, the default should work fine. Click OK and Inkscape should change your selection to the new path. Drag the new path to the side so you can select the image version and then delete the image version. Now select the path and resize the document to fit using Edit, Resize Page to Selection or Control shift r I like to zoom to fit by pressing 5, but this is just a visual thing. We save our SVG and we could be done here. If your waveform has more lead in or out time than you'd like, my preferred way to trim it down is using Microsoft Paint. Cropping is surprisingly difficult in Inkscape, so I use what I know. First thing we do is open our original file in Microsoft Paint, and then once we've made sure we have the selection tool actually selected, we can highlight the area we would like to keep, and then we just press crop and save our new image. Now we just follow the exact same steps as before. Open a new document in Inkscape, import our cropped image, Trace the bitmap to an SVG, delete the image object, resize the document, and save it as an SVG. So that wraps up for this little tutorial. Uh, I showed how to use the waveform generator on my website. And the next couple of videos that I'm going to put out will probably be using the output on some different maker machines so you can get an idea of what you can do with those files. Um, but I wanted to split it up in case you were just interested in the tutorial and didn't need to see the actual projects being made. So if you liked it, please give me a like and a subscribe so you don't miss those other videos.